Okay, I have seen quite a few videos on how to remove the uh, radio from a uh, Sprinter. Man, there's some, <laughs> there's some real idiots out there. Anyway, it, it, it's really easy. Okay, go to Walmart. Get you a radio removal kit. What you need is these two pieces right here. Now, let me get this to focus. It's what you need. They're idiot proof. It says top right, top left. Okay? Pretty self explanatory. Okay? Let me get it to refocus here. Okay. Now, I've seen people destroy their dashes trying to get these out. Okay? Top right. The little tooth thing goes to the inside. Put it in. You'll hear it click. Same with that one. Slide it in. You'll hear it click. Once it clicks, pull the stupid thing out. Okay. Remove your antenna. Remove your wire harness. Two clips. Push them both in. Pull it out. To remove these, take this, push, pull it out. This metal, push, pull it out. New radio, pull that. Now, there's another thing people are destroying. This little bracket just pops right out. Okay. Once you pop it out, take this, slides right inside. Okay. Pretty freaking simple. Take your clips, move them accordingly so it will grab. Just bend them up. Okay. Now it will not go anywhere. Take your radio. Slide it into your whole deal. Okay. Fly wire harness, you're gonna need it. You're also gonna need an antenna adapter. Plug in your antenna adapter. Plug in your wire harness. Shit, I put the radio in upside down. Shove your wires in there. And that should go like so. Now I'm not going to fully put it in because I'm installing an amp and I need to get to my remote wire. But basically, now we're good. Unfortunately, these things only it's come with two four-inch speakers up there, which is freaking ridiculously so stupid. Hence the amp coming in with the uh, subwoofers. But it's that simple, people. It's not rocket science.
and it's quit making it freaking difficult.